What's up guys, if you've been wondering what I use to record my screen, I use this program called Microsoft Expression Encoder 4 with Screen Capture. Uh, you can download it from Microsoft's website, the download link will be in the description, so there's no viruses or anything. And it's pretty cool because I'm. it's completely free and um, the, on, the only limitation is for it being free is that you can only record to up to 10 minutes at a time so you have to after a 10 minute recording you gotta stop it and start recording again but you can assign hotkeys and I have mine set to F10 and F11 so um, as soon as the recording ends I just hit F10 and just start another recording and um, it's pretty cool because there's no watermarks or anything like some of the other free recording programs and it records in HD as you can see like it's pretty clear I'm actually recording with it right now and I have the voice you can actually record your voice with it at the same time as you're recording um, the screen and you can like set it to record like just a certain window or like a certain part of the screen or you can have it set to the whole screen which is what I have it set to right now and here's like the little let me see if I can pull up the toolbar See here's the toolbar and it says like how long the video's been so far, what size, the size of the file, um, how many frames I've created so far and the frame rate. And I have the quality set to 95 right now out of 100 because I don't want the file to get too big. So you can like see how it looks with um, 95 quality. So it's right here. Download link will be in the description. It's on Microsoft.com. There's no viruses or anything. And uh, like I said it's completely free when you're re when you like when you're installing it and um it asks you do you want to register you can just skip right past that and um but if you don't register it you only get 10 minute recordings so um yeah that's pretty much it and uh thanks for watching my video my next tutorial will actually be a how to make your own little logo in photoshop similar to the logo i have on right now so um yeah, anyways, check out my previous tutorial, which was how to make a YouTube background in Photoshop. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'll see you guys next video.